Hi guys, Ru here with another video for Blender. In this one, I want to show you a cool trick uh, with box cutter and hardups. Just before we start, guys, if you would like to support what we do as Blender Bros together with Josh Gambrel, hop on our Patreon link in the video description. There's tons of cool perks. Uh, for all three tiers, you know, decal packs, critiques, tutorials, all kinds of crazy stuff, both for vanilla users and for add-on users. So thank you so much for your support. And if you're interested in joining us, like I said, link in the video description. So you might not be aware of this, but when you create a cut with box cutter, right? So let's go to, uh, let's go to box and just make a slice. The, the cutter, right, Alt H, is gonna be automatically parented to this box, okay? So if I move it, you know, it's gonna get parented, right? Now, if I'm cutting this with a cube that I've, you know, created or any other object that I have in a scene, so I just have an object, shift select this one, Q and difference, right? This cutter will not be parented. So what you can do is go to operations and click on late parent, and this will, you know, parent all the cutters in a scene to this, uh, to this uh, box, but what if you have um, more than one object that you wanna cut through? So for example, if I slice this one, right, and I'm gonna slice this one, right, and then I wanna select all three of them, okay, so these are three, you know, three separate cuts, right? And I wanna, you know, select all of them, and for example, I don't know, cut one more time with a circle, like through all of them, literally, right? I need to switch off the uh, active only here. It will not work with it. So slice all of them, right? Uh, this one, select this one too. There you go, right? So it's sliced through all of them. This uh, circle is going to be uh, parented to uh, the last object selected, okay? Not to these other two. But there is a tool in Hardobs, the new Hardobs, that's worked with 20, uh, two, not, two, 291 and 292 Blender which allows you to actually fix this problem and it's called Uniquify. Okay, if you click this thing, now you, your uh, your cutter is gonna be parented to whichever object, whoa, this one didn't get parented, let me see this one. Um, operations, Uniquify, there we go. So it's gonna be parented to every single object, okay, in your scene. It is extremely convenient because, for example, if you want to copy this, right, if you want to copy these uh, these objects to, uh, to a new scene, so you're going to select object and press object copy, and then you're go, going to go to a new blender, so uh, I'm going to open 2.91, uh, okay, let me just rescale it really quickly, and I'm going to paste this in here, right? Okay, it's gonna get pasted with all the cutters as well. So now these are all these three shapes are still live. Yeah, so if you go to uh, edit mode, it is still a cube. This is still a cube and this is still a cube. So it's non-destructive, right? Well guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give us a like and sub if you did. As usual, links in the video description to all the add-ons I'm using, including hard ups and box cutters. So if you need them, get them. They're amazing. Thanks for watching. Catch you next video.